Madden Classic Finals. We got a really good game coming up here with uh, Joke and Canes. You know, I picked Joke to win. You did. Um, let's see. It looks like Joke is going to go. So Joke has the ball first. He went. I believe he used the Seahawks for one game, and mm -hmm. then uh, he must have had trouble. Maybe with the offense. You know, they don't have as good an offense as the Falcons. Mm -hmm. But uh, it looks like he went back to them. Both players making sure their coaching adjustments are where they want them. Of course, right. you want your ball carrier always on conservative, so we can limit those fumbles. Joke, DNA Canes, Noble Joke, EMB Joke. My pick to win this game. Let's see what happens. Shotgun doubles. IDs the mic there. Wants to make sure this 335 does not generate any pressure. Good run, solid pickup of three. Joke's definitely looking really good, really good on offense right now. Um, he was struggling for a while, just trying to, you know, get comfortable in something, find what works for him. Um, finally, found a formation where he's able to run the ball a little bit more. That's where he's always really, really effective. And it is official. Cole has won his game. He is going to advance to the final four there. Now, Joke is the player that both you and I have played the most this year. Oh yeah. He. Didn't seem as confident as he wanted to coming out here. Oh, yeah. He won a couple of games last night, and he really seemed to get that swag back. Oh, definitely. He really seems to be playing more like the old joke, more yeah. like Madden 17 joke, which you can ask anybody in this arena right now, and he was one of the most feared players last oh, year. Oh, no, nobody and wanted to play him. he's starting to get back up to that level. He's really um, he ran a 0-1 trap twice in a row. Um, you see uh, Keynes is in the 3-3-5, leaving the middle open. Mm -hmm. That's a very good run play against the three-down lineman. Just looking to take what the defense is going to give you. Exactly. Here. Second and short. Joke has already shown more of the ID, the mic feature, than we've seen in a lot of the tournaments. Oh, yeah. So this is four plays, and well, three plays in a row, technically, yep. that he ID'd that mic if we don't count those run plays. I'm really surprised we're not seeing more people use that. I see a lot of people just getting sacked. Yeah, and, and, and not then getting using frustrated that and saying, why exactly. can't I pick it up? because you're not taking advantage of one of the new features added to the game right. this year, which is that ID, the mic feature. Yep. What that's going to do is that's going to take your running back. He is going to become a one-on-one -on -one defender oh, yeah. with that blitzer. Right. What I'm interested to see in this game, just it's, if something happens to Joke, how he handles himself. I know he has a lot of problem with that, um, just kind of controlling his emotions. Yes, he is definitely some a Madden player who wears his heart on his sleeve. Yep. Second and five here. Motions to give it more of a spread look. Great job. Great job of letting the drag develop. He exactly. probably could have threw, threw it earlier, but he wouldn't have got that first down. It's he, a good job letting He let go. the linebacker back up and play his own. A little, little dump off right there. Let it, let, he let the linebacker get himself out of position. Right. Bunch to the short side. A lot of times when people still have that bunch to the short side, they're tipping themselves off to the run. Yep. I'd like to see more players pass the ball to the short side as well. Defenses can kind of can kind of play on their toes right. when you're bunched on the short I side. I mean, at this field. point, obviously, only great players are left. They're going to recognize that right away. Exactly. You can maybe get away with that in, in, in your round round robin, maybe. Maybe the first round of the playoffs when you're playing, you know, some lower seated players. When exactly. we're getting into the cream of the crop like we are now, it's little things like that that can lose a tournament. Right. Joke must have seen something that he liked there, um, running uh, no huddle. Maybe he heard you, Rob. Throwing to the short side. I'd like to see player. I'd like to see all these players throw to the short <laughs> side more often. I it expect some sort of um, blitz here from Keynes. Oh. Dangerous, but <laughs> Coleman's the best wide receiver on the field right now. He might be a top five wide receiver in the game. Now he's a top five wide <laughs> receiver in this game right, <laughs> right here between Seattle and Atlanta. I can tell you that's I mean, for sure. He's playing like it. It's Julio and him in my opinion. I guess <laughs> Doug Baldwin's good. I guess. I guess. First and goal from the eight here from Joe. Run commits on first down, does it correctly. All right, I'm going to sign off right now, guys. I'm going to bring back over to user. I know Drag wants to get down there and get closer to Joke. As a community, the EMB family, really close. Drag is going to get down there. Put a little moral support in. Users tagged back in in the booth. Jokes went up seven nothing. User, you got a little, uh, you got a little emotion out of Dreeny. You got to talk to him. 
you're a player when I know you're really good at reading body language. How confident is Drini? He sounds confident. How confident is Drini? Drini, he seems to be confident. I think he's confident, but it seems like there is a still a little bit of doubt he's right? asking himself. You can, can kind of, you can kind of, you can kind of sense that a little bit. Like it, it's almost like he's trying to to put on a little bit of a front there. I, I can sense a little bit of. I don't want to say nervousness because nervousness seems to almost feel disrespectful Maybe it's to respect. some players. Yeah. Maybe he's, he's still respecting these guys and thinks that they still have a chance to beat him. I would agree with you there. So you missed a little bit of joke DNA Canes. Jokes went up 7 nothing there. Who do you like in this game, user? Well, I'm going to tell you. Now, and then there were two. Two left from beyond the sticks. Canes and Drini. Now, when we had the beyond the sticks this week, Canes was the one who won the championship. He beat Figgy. And he was telling me all week, I'm the best. I'm the toughest right now. I promise you. I'm going to win this tournament. And once again, we look in the final weight. Here we go. Keynes is playing joke. So if you ask me my pick, I watched him play. I think Keynes is going to win this game. I like it. I like it. So we are going to go to the second quarter. Keynes is going to see himself in a third and long. Now, I talked to Joke extensively last night. We were in the hotel. He was getting ready for this tournament. He said when he gets someone on a third and long, he really feels like he can unleash some of these blitzes. Joke's not a player who blitzes a lot, and a lot of people get used to that. So he knows when he gets somebody into a third and long, especially somebody who gets a little more of a happy feet when they're in the pocket, he really wants to take advantage of that. This is probably the first situation he's had to do that this game. Let's see, does he make true on his word from last night? Third and nine, big down coming up right here. He does send some pressure there. It gets picked up pretty well, and it's a first down. Now, he only sent four. It was a good blitz by sending four. I want to see him maybe send five. That's what I was telling Magic. All week, Keynes has been displaying great stick. Jokes dialed up the heat right there. It was good heat, but Keynes, with that pocket presence and that stick work, he was able to maneuver around and get the first down. That's correct. That's correct. You guys see Cole and Drini. They are going to set up as well. They are getting ready for their final four game. These competitors just making sure everything's right. I believe Joke likes to play defense with the on-field visuals on. He likes to kind of see how close he can be for those tackles. He likes to see when he's in zone, what man he should be guarding. So he's just making sure all of that's correct now. The other thing I know he likes to do, you see him put the player names on. He wants to be able to see exactly who he's manning up. He makes a lot of defensive adjustments. He wants to take his safety and cross man him on a wide receiver. But, he, you know, it's kind of hard to remember the numbers of every player in the game. And anybody that knows Joke knows that Joke is a very technical, savvy guy. He's Absolutely. not just going to sit here and play and feel like something, something isn't right. Joe is a very avid person, communicator. He's a very avid communicator in the man community. Everyone knows if, if there's a problem, Joke is going to let you know. Whether it's on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Joke is going to let you know. Joke is definitely one of the Madden players that has a comfort zone. <laughs> He definitely has a comfort zone. That is the most appropriate way I can word that. Cole and Drini getting ready for their... That is what he told me he was going to do. Screen. He told me when he gets these players in these and long situations that he is sending the goons. He told me if it's 4th and 24 for somebody's tournament life, we're blitzing 7. We mm -hmm. are getting these sacks. Third and 22. Does he send him again? He absolutely does. And he lima, gets lima, him lima, again. Lima. He told me last night that he was not letting anyone get away with these and long situations and playmaking him to beat him. His words, not mine. So far, he's making true. Fourth and 34. That is great defense by Joke right there. Seven nothing with ball there. Before I cut myself off. Drini and Cole, they are getting set up for their final four game. We will have that on stream for you. First and ten from Joke here. Second and inches. That was a big stop by Joke. See if he can get seven and go up 14 on Canes right here. Obviously, you like Joker to win, of course. He's an MVP. 
I'm not even going to ask you that question. Now, of course, my answer is with completely non-biased feelings, Joke is going to win this game. However, with the completely biased feelings, it doesn't change. Joke's going to win this game. Two-minute warning here, second and short. Bunch to the short side. Gives it a spread look there under center. Probably just going to run the dive. It's a little bit of a trap. He really likes that 0-1 trap. Yeah. I call it the Obi-Wan Kenobi. I like it. <laughs> hey, we had a Star Wars thing earlier. We seen Luke beat his papa. We seen the mentor brung down by Drini. He did. First and ten now for El Joke. The baby goat. Drini. <laughs> Cole's looking to take that title. Yeah. Cole said he's feeling some goat curry. Mm. First and ten. Good defense. Big hit by Earl Thomas right there. What I like that Joke did there, he knew that that linebacker that Keynes was controlling, he was going to go manually get that running back swing route. He waited until Keynes recognized the in route that was coming on top of it, and he made that quick step to go get the in route. Then he threw the swing route. He didn't gain any yardage out of it, but he probably saved himself from a hit stick fumble. 3-3-5 three, three, from Keynes there. A bad snap, still picks up the pressure. Austin Hooper is going to pick up about six of the 12 he needs. Now, I do think Joke would be satisfied with three here. Satisfied, not the word. He'd be okay with three points. We're satisfied with seven. Oh, look at that block shit. Julio doesn't matter. Good read by Joke right there. Seeing that block shit coming to get that ball out of there, get it to Julio and convert for the first down, third and five. Probably still needs a few yards before he's in field goal range. Running the ball there. And he also caught Canes on a defensive tackle. So Sheldon, if he wasn't on him there, probably would have block shed and hit him for a gain of two, maybe three. Instead, Joke caught Canes on that D tackle. Most people's first movement on defense is going to be backwards. You always run faster coming forward than you do backward. You learn that in Little League Baseball. So he thought he was on a middle linebacker. He was going to take those backward steps. Instead, he got caught on the D tackle, took himself out of the running lane there, and got a seven-yard gain for Joke, which he follows up with a first down. I'm going to need Keynes to stand up right now and hold him to three. He was telling me all week that he was the best Madden player out. He was the best player, Madden player beyond the sticks. I need him to show and prove it. I need him to back up them words. He run commits. Joke takes the time out there. Bunch to the right. Definitely what he feels most comfortable in this year is that bunch formation. Second and nine. He's sending the pressure. Joke reads and takes the check down. Smart play. One of the best route combinations in the game. Hitch under corner. Probably the most effective route combination in this game. Even better when you're outside defender. In my opinion, even better when you're outside bunch receivers on an in route. You put the tight end on the hitch, which he didn't really want to do there because he wanted to have him block. So I definitely understand that. But I think even one of the better combinations is your outside bunch receiver on an in route, the corner route to your slot receiver, and then, of course, the inside receiver on the bunch on that hitch. As you see, Kane's called a timeout. He's making sure he's setting up for the block. See if he can time this kick. He doesn't. 10 nothing. I hate to bring this up. Joke, I love you. We cannot give up a kick return here. I'd be surprised if he doesn't sky kick. Sound like you're coaching. Sound like you're coaching. Uh, I plead the fifth. Out of all the amendments in the world, there's only <laughs> one that I can give you here, and it's the fifth. Seven seconds here. Probably will run the ball and hope to see some pancake blocks, maybe get some fluke to get some points on the board. Yeah. Joke is going to slide his linebackers left there. The ball is ran right. He does a good job with his linebacker there. I'm just keep backing up, keep backing up, keep backing up. Make sure the last line of the fence. You don't want to get yourself pancaked. Canes go ahead and uses his last time out. He's going to have one more chance, two seconds, either a Hail Mary or a run, hoping for pancakes. Mm, big hit. Or maybe a hit stick in the face. 
second half. Keynes does get the ball. Now, at what point does Kane start to play frustrated? Because he's he's an even kill player. He very rarely gets out of his element. Now, I'm going to tell you, Kane's had to fight through some adversity. He was down 17. 17. The guy got a kickoff return, a fumble to the crib. Everyone thought he had lost the game. And it was like, we were in the third quarter. Mm -hmm. And he came back into the arena, and he was like, Chow asked him, he said, uh, did you win? He was like, yeah, I won. Child was like, no way he won. Child didn't believe him, so he had to pull it up on his phone, Man. check the bracket, and he was like, I can't believe he thought I lied to him. Yeah, he won. So obviously, Keynes knows how to fight and come back. It's not as bad as it was last game. He doesn't want to put himself in a position where he's down 17 0. 10 0, he can score right here and make this a good ball game. Keanu Neal, deepest safety back here from Joke. Goes ahead and manually backs up that corner on the left. Pressure up the middle, doesn't quite get there. Pickup of two. Down 17, still fall. Do you happen to remember who that was against? I have to check the brackets. No, Understood. not off the top of my head. Understood. It's been a long weekend. You've you know, been doing a great job with everything. We can't be perfect. You know how it is. If you're not first, you're last, man. Ricky Booby. <laughs> Second and seven. Bunch motioned over to give a spread look. Couple block sheds. Russell gets out of the way. Picks up three. Good job of just getting out of chaos there and turning yeah. it into a positive game. Now, all week, Keynes has been magnificent scrambling with the quarterback. He had Mariota in the first tournament, and then he switched up to Russell in the championship, and he was just taking off like it was Vic 07 days. Third and five here. Joke, look, Joke is at least wanting to give the look that he's blitzing off the left there. We will see if he did or not, but he definitely is making Keynes think about it. He does send the pressure from the left. It does not get there. It gets picked up. Oh, with big and pick. Joke clicks on, makes the user pick. He's going to be up two possessions with ball, and Keynes may see that 17 nothing deficit again. You told us he's came back from it. He's hoping to not have to do it twice in one tournament. That's big. That is big. Kane needs to dig deep because Joke is trying to put him away right now. A broken oh. tackle. I saw it coming. Joke's never won a tackle battle unless it's A. <laughs> That's facts only. I'm going to be honest. I'm getting slightly too excited. We are going to go down to the floor. I'm going to get a little bit closer to this game. Drag is going to come back up to the booth. We are going to be right back. I will be right back. Joke's still going to be here. Drag's going to be here. User's going to be here. Enjoy this game. Appreciate it, Rob. Go take a break, man. Grab you something to drink. Did a great job. Let's go, Drag. We got a great game going on right here. Oh, what a hot dot by my man. Joke right here. He breaks the tackle. Sherm Durham, you have to play better D than that. Keynes is leaving him one-on-one -on -one because that's obviously one of the best corners in the game was. Now we have, you know, Khalib and Harris and all the other goons, but Sherm Durham, we expect him to play better than that. I don't see a lot of change from Keynes here with the 3-3-5. Joke seems to be moving the ball really well on it. Um, just knowing how smart of a player Keynes is, I thought he would make a little bit more of an adjustment on it. This is probably going to be base right here. No, he uh, he audibles to the especially from the draw right here. Yeah. Oh wow! Broken tackle, touchdown. He's down 17-0. Back to back games, he is down 17-0. Canes, do you have it in you again to fight back? <laughs> it's going to be really hard to get you know a, a player like Joe to come back down three scores. I mean, Canes is capable of doing it, but it's definitely not going to be easy. And you know the first thing that whoever he beat when he was down 17-0, yep. he should have lost to me. <laughs> he should have lost to me. He shouldn't have been playing, oh, Joke. Yeah, right, I right, would have right. gave Joke a better game. Definitely. Come on, Kane. Stand up. You got the fight. Joke's doing a really good job of giving different looks in the 3-3-5 right now. Um, Kane isn't able to really pick up and have a sense for what he's going to do next. Joke. 
Kane's out here in that bunch motion, that outside receiver to the inside. I'm expecting he's using the gap on the right side. Um, as I say, expect Play. him to Can we pull make a move off the outside. Good open field tackle by Joke right there. Haynes needed to make him miss so he can get a big play and score quick. Uh oh. Oh, almost went right off sides. I believe the lineman didn't move to get that. I know, right? Start. The D, he's going to take off and scramble. Joke's got this Falcon Stevens looking really good. He does. All right, so we have uh, sticking in the shotgun bunch. Kane's running the draw. Um, big, big run play right there by Kane's. Yep. Trying to break it to the house. Really did a good job of recognizing the weak the weak spot in the defense. Um, I mean, any sort of run up the middle, um, especially the delayed right there with the draw, um, was able to uh, get, get get in between the the uh, tackle. We're going into the fourth, man. Time is against Kane's right now. He's fighting the clock. He's fighting the score. He's fighting joke. Hopefully, he can get something to turn it around. Really need something quick right here. Um, expecting some sort. Um, he's gonna have to push the ball downfield. Like he's gonna have some sort of deep route. Picked off oh, again. Wow. Can he take it? Oh, he lays down. Joke's playing some great defense. Joke's right just now. gonna say, "I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna take this thing smart. I'm up 17-0 with the ball. It's over." This is why I picked him to win. You sure? It it's not just because he was in the NBA? Nope, no, nope, I will be unbiased. If I didn't think he was very good, I would tell him that he isn't very good. Come on now. I've known him for over 10 years. I would tell him right to his face. <laughs> Big run play. He's going to the house. Oh, my goodness. Joke is taking this one. And, and they're going to cut it off. Kane says, that's enough. You won 17-0. <laughs> you will not walk out of here with 24-0. Let's go and end this right now. They're going to cut the feet on that right there. My man Jokes just came out here and flooded Canes, the guy who was the champion in the Beyond the Sticks. All we have is one left, Young Dreeny, trying to hold it down for the Beyond the Sticks. Yep. I was hoping that that Madden boot camp would have maybe gave him a little bit better push in this tournament, oh, but yeah. obviously these other guys have been training and preparing for themselves, preparing for this tournament on their own anyway. They're ready for him. Definitely. I mean